So this thing is the, this is, this is your road map to the class, and it is going to come attached to your syllabus. It's, it is the schedule, and most of the time it doesn't change. So I've been teaching physio long enough to have it pretty dialed in um, how, you know, what goes where. If you take a look at this thing, it's organized by week. It's organized um, by exam. So you'll notice that there are six days of content and then an exam on almost every single one of these things. If you look by week, you'll see the, the topic that we're covering. You'll see the readings. Dude, I mean, this is awesome. <laughs> this is where I've basically given you uh, access to three different textbooks. Uh, so take your pick, whatever you want. There's three different places where you can find content related to the day. It tells you the activity that we're going to do in lab. It tells you um, on every Thursday, once a week, there will be a quiz in Canvas. Uh, in anatomy, in a Riggs anatomy class, we have quizzes every single day in lab, and that's just not the case in physio. Um, you have the quiz online over the weekend, and every single quiz opens after um, class on Wednesday and it closes at 11.59 p.m. on Sunday night. So um, it's, it's all, every single week is exactly the same. And even the exam days are exactly the same. There's actually going to be four of them throughout the course of the semester. So um, you'll get into a rhythm, and probably the sooner you get into the rhythm, the better. Get comfortable with how to read this schedule. And then get comfortable with the modules in Canvas, because check this out. When you log into Canvas and go to modules, what you'll see is that there is a module. The modules are numbered, and the topic is connected to the module number, and that matches module one is homeostasis. Sometimes the topics, that's a great example of the topic doesn't quite match the homeostasis topic. I think I need to change my uh, title of themes in physiology. I talk about other themes, but all physio is about homeostasis. So what you'll find is that you have content modules, and each content module, one for every single day, and everything that you need for the day is in there. They're not dated, and so the reason why they're not dated is so that I can use them from semester to semester without having to rebuild everything. Um, so to know when are we doing module one, you have to refer to the schedule. Oh, we're doing module one for Wednesday the 18th. That's the first day of class. That means that I'm actually expecting you to come to class having um, checked out the stuff in this module. The video lecture is here. I provide a packet of lecture notes and external brain study guide questions and lab handouts. All of that stuff is found in this packet. Here's a little reminder of the assignments that you're going to have. Ultimately, since our first class is on a Wednesday, there will be a quiz in here every week. We have that online um, Canvas quiz. I have a section for resources. I have um, a discussion board where you can ask me questions. Awesome. This is an article that I actually think is super helpful for students, optional extra resource, and then I, I link in Often I link in that OpenStax textbook as a, as a resource because it's free, so I figured, dude, let's just throw it in there as a, as a resource for y'all. So Canvas is going to be super helpful also for keeping yourself organized. Um, when we're looking at the schedule, it's probably relevant to talk a little bit about the assignments and how you're going to get graded, and then my organization, we're going to talk about some of them in a little more detail. The external brain and the integration project I'm going to talk about specifically. But then at the very end, we're going to come back to this, and I'm going to help you kind of think through a plan for how to carry out all of the assignments that are happening every week. So there's, I mean, this shouldn't surprise you, there's jillions of ways for you to get points because it's a Riggs class, so I don't know 
doesn't make my life easier <laughs> to have jillions of point options, opportunities, but um, I actually think it does make your life easier. So the clickers, 5% of your grade. If you combine this right here with the schedule, what you'll see is that if you show up to class and click, you will get 5% of the um, points in the class, and it's, it's free. Like, okay, it's mostly free. I'm going to implement a, a new thing this semester. I'm going to do pop quizzes. Pop quizzes can happen at any time. If I'm going to do a pop quiz, it's going to happen at the beginning of class. Like, we have a start time of 8.30. It's happening at 8.30. And uh, I may or may not um, do those. So I can do as many as I want. I could do them every day if I want. I guarantee in the second week of class I will do pop quizzes because I want you to get into the habit of showing up on time and making sure you are flipping. Um, they'll be clicker-based. We'll go over them. If you watch the lecture, you're gold. So you can use your external brains. You can use your notes that you took the night before. Um, but it is, they'll be very straightforward if you prepared for class. And then we'll get into clicker questions that I don't care if you get them right or wrong. I just want you to um, be thinking and talking and figuring out why you don't understand things. At the end of every week, you have an online quiz. It's 10% of your grade. You can take them twice. Um, they're in Canvas. You, they're open everything. Like, use whatever you want to take these things. Nothing late is accepted in anything ever, and that's because I can't handle it. Like, there's too many moving pieces in my life to be able to handle anything late anywhere. So all of these assignments, the due dates, stick. Um, labs and your external brain make up 15% of your grade, and I'm going to talk about the external brain in a second. The integration project, 20% of your grade, and I'm going to talk about that too. And then you have four midterm exams. Each exam has six days of content on it, and um, I am going to do, there's a couple of final exam things that are going to happen, um, one of which is a, an optional final that is comprehensive that you can use to replace one of your midterms. Um, most students take advantage of that because uh, there are some of the midterms that can be pretty rough. So let's talk about the external brain really fast. Those of you who have been in a Riggs class before, you're going to be like, dude, I got the external brain. Um, and then we'll talk about the integration project. 